All right, so today what we're going to do is I'm going to show you how I polish up my boots. And here's a bunch of the stuff, but uh, the end goal is to get a boot that looks like this to become a boot that looks like that. And you can see the contrast there. And then here's another pair that I just recently finished of ostrich. And you can see just how beautiful the shine. I mean, this one's alligator belly. But, you know, to go from a dull to just a beautiful shine without damaging the boots, that's what you want. You don't want to use wax and I'll show you what to use so really what I'm going to do is um, kind of go through step by step and before I do I'm going to do a cigar check this is my Padron 40th anniversary pardon the dirty hands but uh, that's what happens when you polish boots and uh, the boot check today is my old Mexico, Mexico with a J in the middle, Peruku boots. These are fish, fish skin boots. So pretty cool. Need a little bit of polish. They don't look too bad. But in any event, here's the key. The key is this old gem here called a Ronson Rotoshine Magnetic. And you can pick these up on eBay pretty cheaply now you can get the set itself just like this or you can get one of the original boxes and it comes with a little shoe shiner if you want to do that you can put your foot on top of there and shine but inside here is this is where the the roto shine would have been and then it comes with these old this thing was from the 60s, so uh, this stuff, you can tell, it's just, it's all solid, and you don't want to use that crap anyway. What you want to do is use the Ronson with Tarago shoe cream. And Tarago makes probably a couple hundred different colors. This one's chocolate, and uh, the chocolate seemed to match up pretty good here with the boots. So, Tarago, uh, you can find this online too, is a cream, and so it's not going to harm your boots like a wax, and you can see this one comes in a medium brown, and this one I've been using on the bottoms is a dark brown, and then of course, you've got, <coughs> excuse me, your uh, must-have, the, the black, which is really um, ideal, but... You want to use this Ronson and this magnetic uh, feature here is that you've got this brush and it comes with a couple different kinds. So this one's a brown, I got a black, and then he's got one that'll kind of uh, a rougher one to clean it. And then you want to use a horsehair brush. So you can see this about ten bucks um, horsehair. And then you want to use an applicator, and this one, um, again, a horsehair. And you can get all this stuff pretty easily online. Use a different brush for your browns and so forth. So let me go through it. Let me show you how you apply it and what you do and how you can get, you know, again, a shine that goes from that to that. All right, let's get set up here. All right, so you're just simply going to take your boot cream, dab a little bit in there, and I've already done it here, so I'm not going to go over it again to, to do it, but you're just going to wipe it on, get it all kind of good in there, get the, uh, get the heel on the top of it. Just get it all rubbed in. And like I said, I kind of already did that before I started 
and then you're going to take your Ronson and you're just going to go through it and you're going to start out I always start out around uh, the outer part and just get that in the top and you can see already what a difference it's making. So I just kind of go all the way around it and after I come back around then I'm going to do the whole thing and then because I'm selling these I'm going to actually do the bottoms so the bottoms don't look like this they look like that alright I'll show you the finished piece here in a moment so I realized that I skipped a step with you and uh, these are completed but in between when you put your Tarago on after that then you're going to take your horse hair brush and then brush it off you know let it sit for maybe two minutes and then brush it down real good and so I'm doing that on the bottom because I did the bottoms of these and then after you do that that kind of rubs it all in and so it gets it any spots you might have missed with your brush and then you can take your Ronson and go over and again I'm doing the bottom I'm doing the bottom only because I'm selling these and so you know if I was buying a pair of boots used boots I'd appreciate it if the bottoms are done and that's what what these are and so that's that's what you've got and so then the last piece if you really want to go over the top you can use some stuff like this called master quick shine and um, get it there and so this really is just to uh, kind of put the finishing touch on, and I'll show you what, um, what that looks like here. So I went outside here so you can really see the nice color and the shine. I'll buy my grill. It's a little wet, so I put my laptop pad there. What a great use, huh? So I'm going to use this uh, Master Quick Shine, and we'll see what kind of uh, difference that makes on it and you can tell if you can see it I mean that it, it makes a little bit of a difference but not a whole lot I'm gonna just hit it one more time here you don't want to hit that hard you're just really kind of touching it and uh, so I'm gonna bring the other boot and see if there's any any difference so the one on the left does not have the shine spray and the one on the right does and maybe just slightly so I'm going to make them uniform and hit the uh, get my laptop case shined so just a little bit and again I'll kind of keep them nice but um, so that's what we've got I've got a few more boots to do you can kind of see these they look pretty good but they'll look even better with a shine so anyway that's what I got for you today hope you uh, found it interesting and uh, take care